Hello and welcome to Spurred On. It is time to make Spurred On history. This is the first ever Rhys James match preview. Craig has been dropped from the first team. Rhys James has been brought in to pick up the pieces. I'm only joking, he's in New York trying to get the perfect Instagram picture. Anyway, it's a big one. It's Spurs v West Ham. Oh my God, it's a huge game. I'm nervous, you're nervous, they're nervous. We're all nervous about it because they are amazing away from home against big clubs this year and we are terrified, right? But I've got my starting team and I'm proud of it. Okay, so we have got Vorm in goal. I'm joking, it's Larice in goal, obviously. Got Walker, Toby, Jan and Rose at the back. I'm sticking with Rose. Despite my Ben Davies comments earlier in the year, I think Rose, he's been exceptional this year. So fair play, Craig Mitch, you were right. And I like your Instagram. Uh, and then I'm playing Ali and Dyer in the middle. I'm playing Ericsson on the left and Dembele centre attacking mid. If he's fit, I know he's got a knock. Uh, I don't want any abuse that Craig gets. This video was filmed on a Tuesday, okay? We don't know all the information yet about injuries. Don't slag me off. I'm not Craig Mitch. I'm not saying controversial things, okay? We know that Lamella picked up cheese, as Craig would say. So he is out at the moment, which is a shame for my fantasy team, but gives Hungman Son a good chance to get in the squad, get in the starting team. I think we'd all kind of prefer that to an extent. Lamella's been good, but we want Son to get a chance now. He's back to full fitness. So he's going to play on the right midfield. And that is my starting team. Obviously, Kane up top. Who else? It's got to be Harry Kane up top. Okay, my prediction. Well, Paya is out. I'm not going to celebrate that. I know you don't like that, but Paya is out. I am happy about it. He's been their best player. The man in the middle pulling all the strings. He's been incredible. I've also got him in my ultimate team on FIFA, and he is amazing. Scores screamers every week. He's quality. Uh, I play once a week. Uh, but he's quality, but he's out, so that's good news. Andy Carroll, however, is fit, and he does score against us quite a lot. So uh, I'm kind of wary. I think if they use Carroll, we've been kind of weak from crosses this year. So if they do start Carroll, that might be a way they can capitalise on that. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I can't see us conceding more than sort of one goal at home this year. We haven't done that yet this year. So uh, I'm fairly confident. I think I'm going to go with 2-1. 2-1 to Spurs, I reckon it's going to be a late winner for us because I'm going to go for some memories now and you remember we have a few classic late winners against West Ham. We've obviously got the Gareth Bale absolute beauty that left Jaskalainen and stranded in the last minute. Tom Carroll passed it to him. He'd feigned injury like he wanted a free kick and suddenly he spotted the chance. He got up and he banged it perfectly in the top corner. The perfect shot took us to third in the league. That was amazing. That was a 3-2 in 2013. And obviously, who can forget Paul Stalteri's winner in the last minute uh, in 2007 after Timu Tainu had also scored a volley in the match. Who'd have thought that? Uh, so that was amazing. And that made that Russell, Br Russell Brand cancelled gigs because of that result, because they were winning the game. And then Berbatov scored a free kick that came off the crossbar in the 89th minute. Then Stalteri scored in the 94th minute. And Russell Brand said, I'm not doing my next two shows. If you want to hear that comment and that anecdote in a different video, then click the link in the description where we talked about it in something else. And now Barnaby has to go and find that video from somewhere in the Spurred On archives. This has been my match prediction. I'm going with 2-1. Let me know in the comments what you think. If I've got the starting lineup wrong, if you think it's going to be a different score. I was toying with the idea of 3-2, but I just can't see Toby and Jan letting in two. I could see a score in three though who knows let us know are you confident make sure you subscribe to the channel follow us on twitter at spurred on tv and we will see you soon so what's hit them ericsson to swing it in and son mints there and it's three one i don't believe it west ham are all over the place corner was whipped in two goals from corners pretty much